guys welcome back to my channel my name's Madison and today I am going to show you guys how to make some fall DIYs decor slash Halloween style and comment down below if you guys like my new background it's fall e <laughs> is that even a word anyway the first DIY is a phone case it's a fall phone case so here's my phone you just the materials you'll need are a clear phone case leaves and white or any color paper you want I chose white paper so first take your white paper and you want to trace it you want to take your phone case off your phone you want to trace it like that trace it with like a pencil or marker trace it cut it out and take your leaves press them in a book for like a few weeks or so so they'll be dried then put the leaves in your phone case first then put the um paper you just traced on top of the leaves and you can position the leaves any uh, way you want them to and then voila you have an amazing fall phone case that everyone is gonna ask where did you buy that but you actually made it the second one or the second DIY is kind of like fall decor so you're gonna need some leaves some fake leaves i got these at michael's and they're also in my background i'm gonna take some from my background and then you're gonna take a clear cup i just took a clear water bottle cut the top, the top cut the um where your mouth would go to drink it and then it just left me a little cup you are going to fill it with fake leaves. Like so. You can layer them. And then you're going to take a candle, a fake candle, because you do not want your leaves to catch on fire. Turn it on. Place it in there. Cover it with like more leaves. Take another candle. You could only do this with one or two or three, how many you want. Place it on top in like a different direction. Cover it with leaves. Then I also have this like little light, light up thing. That doesn't work anymore, okay. Anyway. So look at this in a dark room you guys see that it's really pretty and yeah it's great decor for fall so that's the second DIY option that you could do Last but not least, let me think of this one. Yeah. Last but not least, we are going, I'm going to show you guys how to make a candy corn garland. So how to make this, you'll need white paper, some markers, I'm using Sharpies, you'll need yellow and orange colored markers or sharpies because that's the color of candy corn you do not need white because your paper is already white and you'll also need scissors and some string sorry for the background noise guys i'm using yellow string because it suited um the topic of the garland so you're going to take your paper, fold it in half, and 
like so. Now you're going to fold it in half again. This will determine how big you want your garland to be. Think about this much is good. Then you're going to fold it like this and like this. If you have any excess, you can cut it off. Like so. Then you are going to draw a candy corn shape and cut the candy corn shape out. It's basically a triangle with rounded corners. Just like that. Okay. So since you folded the paper a bunch of times, you should end up with a bunch of candy corn shaped things. Then I'm going to take a marker and color them the candy corn colors. The candy corn colors are white at the top. You don't need to color it. Then you're gonna need orange, and then it's yellow on the bottom. I think I wanna dot these. And then after you did the orange, you're going to take the yellow marker and dot or color or scribble. And there you go. And then you're going to repeat this until you colored all your little candy corn shapes. Then you're taking your string determine if you want it like this or if you want it like this I think I want it like this then you're gonna take tape and tape it on there or if you want you can use glue or you can even do this take your scissors and just snip a little tiny piece and just cut a little tiny hole so your string can go through. Take your string and thread it through. Then the little candy corn can hang on its side. You repeat this for all the other. Until you have a full garland, you can put it whatever wherever you want. Like on a wall or something. Just nice decor. So, thanks for watching. Be sure to like this video. Comment down below what was your favorite DIY and what are you going to go as for trick or treat for trading or if you're just gonna hand out candy or if you're not gonna go trick-or-treating at all and be sure to hit that big red subscribe button and click the gray bell so you're notified notified every single time i post a new video thanks for watching bye